In this video, we are going to be looking at how to sync Tractor Pro 2 to Ableton Live 10 running on the same computer. Before we can actually use the two programs together, we need to make sure that we sync them in time so that you don't have to do any bit matching between the two. So for that, we're going to start in Tractor as that is what it's going on to be sending out the MIDI clock to Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and open up the preference by clicking on the cogwheel icon up in the top right. Then go to the MIDI clock tab. From here, we just need to go ahead and enable set MIDI clock. Then we're gonna go down to the control manager tab. And here we're gonna go ahead and click the add button up in the top and then click generic MIDI now with the generic MIDI device selected. We're gonna set the import from all ports to none and the output to tractor fit or output. We're gonna go ahead and click close down at the button. Now that we have the tractor feature output set up, we can go into Ableton Live and change some of the settings there. So we go ahead and switch to Ableton Live. I'm using Ableton Live 10, but this should work with older versions as well. So we're gonna go into the preference by clicking command comma or control comma on the PC. Then on the MIDI sync tab, we're going to want to click sync next to tractor feature output. Close the preference for now. Then we're gonna want to click this new button up here in the top left, that is the link switch. So I click link and now we're going to need to go back to tractor. So now that we're back in tractor, we can go to the master clock section. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the master clock section. And here we're going to go ahead and click the play button under the sense option. Then we're going to click sync. Finally, we are going to click tick, which will enable the metronome. So now that we have the metronome enabled in Tractor, we're going to need to switch back to Ableton Live. And you can see up in the top that Ableton Live is actually playing. to make sure that everything stays in time with each other so we're gonna open up the preference and this time we're gonna drill down these extra options for the tractor feature output then we're going to need to go ahead and adjust the midi clock sync delay until our two beats are in time with each other you can turn off the metronomes and then start mixing between the two and everything will be in time one thing that you should know is that Ableton Live is running sync to the clock and Tractor Pro, so you cannot stop Ableton Live until you stop sending the MIDI data in Tractor Pro. All you have to do to stop syncing is press the play pause button under the send section of the master clock because you have everything set up correctly. All you have to do to the next time that you want to use both programs together, press play, pause, and then press sync that will tell Ableton Live to start playing and will sync up to BPM between the two programs. So that is how you can subtract a pro to an Ableton Live using the tractor feature output. Thanks for watching. Cheers.